Hi, I'm Eric, here with Leo Fitzpatrick. Hello. On the occasion of his new book, Just Born Dead. Basically what it is is excerpts from my diaries I kept over the years. And some of it's depressing, some of it's stupid, uh, but none of it is meant to be taken seriously. But it's a book of writing. What do you think's the best, what's your ideal way to like people to read it, you know? On the coffee table, on the back the of the toilet. toilet. That's right. I mean, I don't know. I'm not interested in like claiming that I'm a writer or anything. Yeah. For me, this is just another art project yeah. that I wanted to do. A Karma bookstore put it out and Nate Lohman did the cover. He was my first choice for the cover. Yeah. But the funny thing about the cover is that actually, originally the title was called Unhappy Hour. Uh -huh. So I told Nate, here's the title. Besides that, you can do whatever you want to the cover. Um, I, he didn't even read, he didn't read the book at all. <laughs> he'd never seen it. I don't think he saw it until yeah. it was made. But he'd, see, he'd read your stuff before. He'd read my stuff, but not in a, in a collection like this. So I told him, do whatever you want. And then he came up with this crossword puzzle idea that, he, that he'd been making into paintings and then put the title Just Born Dead. But the title isn't Just Born Dead. It was Unhappy Hour. <laughs> but because I told him he could do whatever he uh, wants, it fit he, in nicely, you know, he went think. ahead and changed the title of my first book of writing. <laughs> okay. When I was a teenager, I hated school, like most skateboarding teenagers. But at a certain age, I discovered that like reading certain books was actually super enjoyable and that there were books out there that spoke to everyone, but they weren't necessarily teaching those books in school. So I've always been a fan of reading and writing and wordplay and things like that. One of the things I wanted to do with this book was keep in a lot of mistakes and things that I was unsure of because I think if like one sentence matters, they kind of all matter. Yeah. Um, and that the mistakes probably speak more to my personality than anything yeah. else. We can all be like a little bit like of a like a shit talker when you're drunk or whatever and especially if you're alone and you, you're like shit talking to yourself while writing <laughs> no, you can really no. go into crazy direction <laughs> the only thing in this that i thought was maybe a little heavy-handed was my like beliefs in like atheism and uh -huh. stuff that's the only thing i'm a little worried about <laughs> are people are like man you're really fucked <laughs> you know if people know me and read it they're gonna be like oh yeah it's like leo being fucking stupid do you have, for the people who haven't read it, do you have a favorite, uh, a favorite poem in here? No, I mean, I, I, there's one in there I think that says, like, he stuck a ruler into her vagina to see if he could measure up. I like all the dumb stuff. The yeah, dark yeah. shit is, like, a little too dark. Um, because, like, I lived through a lot of this yeah. shit. So, like, I remember a lot of it. And, you know, basically this book is, like, putting an end to a chapter in my life of fucking being nuts. And I feel like I've come out the other end. If anything, for me, this book is just a way to say goodbye to my 20s and like start to actually enjoy life instead of thinking that the world's gonna end, even though it is in two days. Nice, well, that's a good way to end this interview. Yeah. Thank you, Leah. No problem. <laughs>